Hi, Devin from Devin Tech Tips here. If you're a fellow VR owner like me, and you also have full body tracking, you might have found yourself purchasing the Track Strap Plus battery straps with built in batteries built right into the straps. But there's a problem. Over time, that Velcro is going to wear out way before that battery does. And if you go on Rebuff's website, each one of the battery banks that actually has has the screw costs thirty dollars and a new set of regular rebuff straps like this only cost fifty and a new track strap plus kit cost a hundred dollars so let's say your track straps are worn out you're sure sure there couldn't be a screw under here of course they would have just not put that in to save money right well that's what most people assume and that's why I'm here to prove that wrong today. You can actually save quite a lot of money by cutting open these straps, transferring the power bank over to a new set of cheaper $50 rebuff straps, and saving your money, which is about 50 bucks when it's all said and done. So, what tools do you really need to do this? First off, you're going to need something to cut open very cleanly in a square along the bottom of the strap. First thing you're gonna wanna do, if you haven't already, is firstly unplug your cable from your tra foot track strap plus, and we're gonna start with the feet here. Don't do the hip, because usually the hip doesn't wear out. It's these Velcros here that usually wear out. So first, remove your cable, then gently unscrew your tracker, like so. Place your tracker to the side after you're done unscrewing, along with your cable. Now undo your track strap. As you can see, I don't want any viewers to scream at me because this track strap is done and kaput. It's basically at the end of its life, but the battery isn't, and that's what I'm going to solve. And now, you want to take, don't cut this one because this is your new one, you want to take your X-Acto knife and cut in a pattern along the bottom, like so. Around the edge. And just pull it apart. And you see there's rubber, and you're going to just want to cut all the way around in a square like this. Until you have your battery. And always be sure to cut away from yourself so you don't accidentally cut yourself. Now that you've removed your square from the bottom of your track strap, you could always glue this back on if you have second thoughts, but at this point, I'm pretty sure you're very well invested into the process. Now with your square of felt removed, you're going to want to gently take your thumbs on this screw and push and prod around the corners until it just pops right out. Then, what you're going to want to do, is you're going to want to grab any kind of spudger, like this, from your toolkit, and you're going to want to just... Oh, something fell. You're just going to want to gently pry along the edges here. And sometimes this adhesive can be a little tricky, so you're just going to want to gently and slowly peel it off by doing this. It might be a little hard, but that it's well going to be worth it, I can assure you. Okay. Now that you have your rubber peeled off, 
you're going to want to take your X-Acto knife and approximate where you're going to have to cut in the center for the screw hole on the top. Be sure to put down a work surface so you don't cut your desk. And I approximate right probably here. Right there. Just about. Right here. So I'm going to cut a little square around the edge. And now that you've cut your square, take it out of the center, and you're done. Now you're going to want to take your track strap, belt, or what have you, and you're just going to want to place this right in the center. After you're done with that, press firmly and secure it down with the remaining adhesive. Now you may want to use super glue or another kind of uh, solvent or glue to glue this down because the adhesive doesn't always hold the best. But for a quick fix, if you want to just simply move on before you get your super glue, you can just do this and it should hold decently enough. Now you're going to want to grab a solvent like Goo Gone and you're going to want to get a few cotton balls or cotton pads like these. You're going to take your Goo Gone and you're going to use it to get rid of the excess residue that is underneath your battery banks. Keep in mind, stuff like this usually stinks, so be wary. And just start scrubbing to get the extra adhesive off. As this stuff dissolves leftover adhesive in a jiffy. So you're just going to want to scrub, 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 then maybe get a dry cloth and scrub till it's all gone. And you can see the adhesive is starting to come off and break loose. And this will take about 30 seconds to a minute, depending on how much residue you have to scrub off. Now if you're still scrubbing off and you feel, want to feel like it's going to take you a little longer, you feel free to pause the video until you're done when I'm finished if you're still scrubbing. As my residue is about gone. But as you can see, it's cleaning it up nicely. And we'll have a good seal with the rubber pads on our new strap right here. And we should get good contact. Now I'm just about done. If you followed me this far, be sure to like and subscribe for any future little tips like this, as I'm always offering my advice. Then take a third cotton swab and begin to dry it off. Be sure to get any sides that you may have gotten any residue into, and make sure you didn't get any goo gone into the charging port. If you got someone here, you have problems. There we go. Now you have essentially what is a $30 item that you would have thrown away. Now you'll take your other track strap that you paid $50 for and slowly screw it on. Now be sure not to tighten it down too tight. And 
and just get a nice tight seal. Once you have a nice tight connection, get your tracker that you previously screwed off and start reassembling. As you can see, when you swap the rubber, it screws on pretty much effortlessly. And also, your tracker screwing onto here will also give it some additional grip with the adhesive underneath here, and it will further adhere it to the battery bank. Now that you've secured your tracker and your power bank to your strap, you're going to want to take your cable, plug it on in, and take your strap or your cable and plug it around and plug it in. And just like that, you're done. You took your old worn out strap that was basically useless and converted it into something that's usable again, and you saved money. If you followed my tutorial and you liked it, congratulations. Be sure to like and subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.